All right, guys. From a given diagram, find the value of cos 2a without the calculator. No bother. Ready for this? What can I say tan a is? What's tan a? Is there an equation for cos 2a that only uses tan a? Look up your tables. What is it? 1 minus tan squared a, yeah? So maybe so kind as to do 1 minus 1 over 2 over 2 squared. And then on the bottom it's 1 plus 1 over 2 root 2 squared. I think it's... Uh, I think it's 7 over 8 divided by 9 over 8, which is 7 over 9. I was to do that in my head. You tell me. I'm hoping it's 7 over 9. Anybody? Yeah, seven or nine. All right. Uh, nextly, question four. Shh. Once again, this this method might come out nice and easy for me. All right. I have an idea. What do we say? Cos two a is. Cos squared a minus cos All right. Do you remember earlier I mixed and matched them, didn't I? So what did I get rid of one of them? It doesn't matter which one you get rid of. Which one do you want to get rid of? Sine or cos? Sine, why not? What's sine squared a the same as? And then what does this formula become? Two minus one. And we're saying that that equals 3 eighths. Is that okay? So what does that mean? 2 cos squared a is equal to... What's a 1 plus 3 eighths? Yep. Divided by 2. Square root. Square root 11. And what's root 16? How about kill with that? Now lads, what is here? That's, would everybody agree that that's 4 and that's root 11? You have a choice. You could do Pythagoras' theorem. You can find out what the opposite is. It's going to be 16 take away 11, which is 5, and the answer would be the square root of 5, and then sine x will be? Root 5 over root. I'm oh, sorry, root 5 over 4. Is that cool with you guys? Does anybody have a second method for doing it? Go back to the start. And instead of eliminating cos squared a, what would you do instead? Huh? Instead of eliminating cos squared a, what would you do instead? Eliminate? Sorry, instead of elim eliminating sine squared a, you'd eliminate? And what did you get this time? 1 minus equals, what's it, 3 eighths? 2 sine squared a equals 1 take away 3 eighths. Divide by 2. Square root, top and bottom. Over. And that's what we got earlier, wasn't it? Same answer. Doesn't matter which way you doesn't matter which way you do it. You have to go down. See the way there's two variables, sine a and cos a. You need to go from two variables down to one variable, otherwise you can't do it. Okay. So that's true and far done. All right. I'll do one of part five. I'll do five part three. Does anybody see what this equation looks like? Cos squared sum angle take away sine squared the same angle which equation does that match up with it matches up with cos 2a doesn't it 
And what can you say A is then? Huh? A is? 22.5. So what's cos 2A going to be? What's 2 times 22.5? You go to your page 13 and you read from it and you get 1 over root 2. Once again, no way they can tell you if you use the calculator or not. Okay. Does anybody know what the answer for the second one would be? Part 2 out of interest. What equation does that look like? 2 cos something sine something. Or 2 sine something cos something. What does it look like? Looks a lot like sine 2a, doesn't it? And in what case, what is the a value this time? So what do you reckon? What's the answer? Sine 2 times 75? Go to your page 13. What do you see? 150 is the same as. Does he even give you what 150 is? Huh? 150 is the same as 30. Why is it the same as 30? Jam your second quadrant drill. 180 minus R is equal to R. So it'd be uh, sine 30, which is a half. All right. Seven. All right, seven's awesome. Ready for this? All right. Here's the issue. What's cos A plus B? Can you break up A and B so that it's it's basically uh, so that it's basically in three A? So what could I put B equal to? I'm going to put B equal to two A. Will that combine to make 3a? Yeah. So what do we do to all the b's? Yeah. Is that right with you guys? Oh, sorry. Is that okay with you guys? Right. Now, do you see any 2a's in your answer? Is there any two times the angle in your answer? No. What does that suggest? It suggests you should sub out the, the cos 2a and the sine 2a. What can I sub out the cos 2a for? Huh? I could do cos squared a minus sine squared a, couldn't I? That's allowed. Is there a better decision than that to be made? Do you see any sine squared a's in your answer? I don't. So what would be a better solution maybe? It, it, it might be. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it where it is for a minute if that's okay with you guys. I just want to, I won't even think that far ahead. What about the next part? What can I do with sine A? What can I do with sine 2A lads? What? I'm going to mill all this together and see what I can come up with. What's cos A times cos squared A? What's cos A times minus sine squared A? What's it, minus 3? Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm ahead of myself. Minus? Yeah. What about the next one then, lads? Sine A multiplied by sine A? Is anybody on board with that so far? Alright. For those of you who need a recap, and I say there's a few of you, I identified that it was cos 3A. I identified I needed an equation to make 3A. I used cos A plus B. I used B as 2A. I went and replaced all Bs with 2As. I then looked at my answer and realized none of my answers have two A's in it as an angle. The only thing that's down for an angle is A on its own. 
Therefore, I came to the conclusion that I should get rid of cos 2a and sin 2a. I went to page 14 and I chose these two formula. Is that okay? I then multiplied out the formula and now I'm at this stage here. Alright? Yes? Here? Uh, see the 2 here? The sine A multiplies by the sine A. And the, so uh, I think what you're getting at, Louis, is 2x squared y is the same thing as 2yx squared. I just moved around the order as all. So, so 2xxy is actually the same as 2yxx. I just manipulated the order to look the same. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. I, I substituted them. I didn't get rid of them. I substituted them with something that's exactly the same. Page 14, it tells you what you can sub in. Okay? Now, next thing. There's one, there's one, uh, there's something here that doesn't belong. Can you tell me what it is that doesn't belong? What's the only thing that doesn't belong? I'm not allowed signs, am I not? Signs are not allowed. How do I know that? I have no idea. I know how to get rid of sine squared a, don't I? How do I get rid of sine squared a again? What is it? Awesome. So what does that mean I can do here? Once again, Joe, I'm not getting rid of it. I'm just replacing it with something that's exactly the same. So what happens when I multiply it out? Anybody? And what's 3 cos a times cos squared a? And what's 3 cos cubed a plus 3 cos cubed a? Minus? Yeah, it's pretty hard. It's pretty difficult, let's not going to lie. So that was 7, wasn't it? 3, 4, 5 and 7. Uh, okay. There is many different ways of doing this. Okay. But I think I have a method that will be the quickest. Ready for this? Alright. What's cos 2a the same as using tans? And what's sin 2a the same as using tans? It's on the bottom of page uh, 14. Or the middle. So what do you reckon? Over. Yeah. And sine 2a? Over. And what's tan 2a? Oh, sorry, never mind. Why did I choose that route? Why did I choose that route? Yeah. So it's the it's the most acceptable route to get in tan straight away, isn't it? So what's one minus cos two a? So it's one minus What am I gonna need there, lads? I'm gonna need the common denominator, aren't I? So what do you reckon I changed the one into? All over one plus tan squared a, right? Okay. And then what's that being divided by? Sine two a. What's sine two a? Over. Yeah. Now, this is beautiful stuff. It's awful, isn't it? It's truly awful. If you haven't done a lot of them before, it's truly. Awful. You're going to have to do these questions again tonight. You know, I had to use the video to go through them. But you're going to have to get used to it. Alright. Are they the same denominator? Are they the same denominator? Oh, so what's the numerators take away from each other? What do you get when you take the two numerators away from each other? What's one take one? Tan squared A plus tan squared A? Everybody happy with that? Merge the fractions, you know what I mean by merging the fractions? 
7 over 3 take away 5 over 3 is essentially, what's it, 2 over 3. See the way the two, the two denominators turn into 1. What do I do with the fraction on the bottom if I'm dividing it? I was going to flip it. <coughs> and look what happens. What cancels? And what's 2 tan squared A divided by tan A? It's 2 tan A tan A divided by tan A, which is just 2 tan A. Oh, the 2's cancel as well, don't they? It's tan A. Uh, look, I've been there as well. First time I was taught.